and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today we will be talking about Lake Mead, Lake Powell and I have some information you guys might be wondering where I was. I have all that towards the end of the video because I don't want to long wind it and I have a surprise at the end of the video as well so we will be talking about all this coming up and once we get there we will be going to that and right now I want to talk about the weather. We are at windy.com as you can see and boy the west is really cooking. You get past Los Angeles and San Diego, everything is steaming hot. You got 109 at Redding, 109 at Chico, 109 at Sacramento, 113 in Fresno, my friends down in Bakersfield, 113, 109 in Vegas. Hello to my friends at Lake Havasu, 107. You guys are probably at the cool spot compared to Fresno's and my friends over in Bakersfield. Lucky you. My friends at Flagstaff, hello, 86. Got some friends down in Ancholo, hello, 91 degrees. And we continue to scoot up. Look at this. Grand Grand Junction 104, Montrose 98, Ville a cool spot of 70, Aspen 77, Telluride's the coolest spot out of all these spots, 71 degrees there, but you go too far, Cortez 95, Farmington, Mexico 100, it is baking out there, you guys stay cool, stay safe, stay hydrated, you know the drill, and 106 down in St. George, Lord it is warm, and there's very little precipitation as we scoot in here for the next three six, 0 0.66 we go to the next 10 there's a little bit of precipitation coming so we do have that coming and it's right around Vail 61 Steamboat Spring right by Vail 0 0.56 inches tell you ride 0 0.8 we will take this we need more precipitation and I will show you why Colorado Springs that's on the other side of the vibe 2.22 we come up here though 1.56 right by the Flaming Gorge we will take that let's check the GFS they have been more accurate and they're not calling for near as much 0 0.56 down here around an inch or so we will take all this rain that would be fantastic an inch with these warm temperatures this will be good we will take it and let's go to the snow accumulation here see what's going on there's no new snow coming we come down here and you can see that there's still a little bit of snow left right here 2.5 inches or so we scoot in a little bit closer 2.8 is what they're saying tell you rides got 0 0.5 three not a whole lot so the snow has pretty well melted off and it's reflecting by the river levels boy everybody was wrong a lot of people were saying 75 85 i heard i said 100 because it was raining a lot and i thought that maybe it would continue to rise everybody was completely wrong including myself but hey the good news is the lake did come up a lot the bad news is it didn't come up 100 feet like we were all hoping but hey it is what it is and we will continue to move on down to lake powell next as we roll out to lake powell you can see that they're saying that the snowpack still 831.43 percent of the average now let's go to the snow graph and see what the snow graph average is i'm not really sure how much the snow graph is not working so we will not be going there so anyway the lake continues to fall we are currently down 0.22 feet over the last 14 measurements and changes since yesterday 0.12 your inflows have really slowed down they were cooking before and now we are at 13,855 you're currently still releasing a ton of water down to Lake Mead at 18,538 and evaporation starting to come in play with this warm weather 106 degrees today you can see the last reading of anything below your highs were 98 and that has been several days ago july 5th every since then it has been cooking at 100 or almost 100 every day and your low is 61.3 you can see that the temperature water temperature 78 degrees so that's not good and you can see that the lake has come up 45.57 feet from one year ago and 27.30 feet from two years ago but you're still down significantly for all these other years including 51 feet from 2017 it'd be nice to get back up to there not impossible but hey we need more rain being that it is the rainy season let's hope that the 
monsoons kick in before sooner or later, but as one viewer pointed out, it is an El Nino and the monsoons aren't near as aggressive in an El Nino compared to a La Nina. So we will see what happens there. You can see that the total releases so far have been 6,629,746 acre feet. This is 88.4% of the minimum required of 7,500,000 acre feet and minimum being the key word here. That is the very minimum, not the positive. We'll see what happens. There's currently 3,134,411,492,000 acre five gallons of water at Lake Powell so that's pretty impressive and the current water level is 3,584.02 feet on July 16th and we are currently 79% through the water year at 290 days of 365 the water year I believe ends on September 31st I'm pretty sure or August 31st it's one of the two just going off the top of my head without looking it up Lake Powell is up 45.57 feet from one year ago however lake pal is 0.66 feet from the water low the lake only came up around 68 feet not the 75 that we were hoping so it was about 3,592 on april 13th and it's come up to the water high around 3,584.68 and it's starting to tell off and it is what it is and this happened saturday july 8th 2023 was pretty much the high and it hasn't gotten that high since so let's pray for some rain and hope for the best let's continue down to lake mead next here we are at lake mead and you can see we are well above last year's reading last year at this time it was doom and gloom we were at 1041.33 feet today we are at 1059.13 and then 2021 we're at 1067 we're only about eight feet away from 2021 we will take that that is a very good positive lake powell would have been a lot higher if they wouldn't have been releasing so much water down to lake mead but hey they had to do what they had to do and you can see lake mead is continuing to increase outside chance that it could hit within about four weeks if they continue to release 18,000 gallons of water a day we will be there but who knows what ultimately will happen we will see and let's roll down to Lake Havasu next for our final stop today you can see that Lake Havasu is 448.38 feet and that was Monday, July 17, 2023 at 4.30 p.m. Above full pool at 4.45. Actually, it's below full pool because the water level is 350. So the water level, full pool is actually 450, not 445. The water level is currently 1.61 feet below full pool. So that's what your current water level is. And you change it since yesterday. This thing's actually come up 0.1 feet. If we go to the drop monitor. You can see that there's still a little bit of drought there in California, a little bit in Utah as well. It's very low, but with 100 degrees, it's to be expected. Hopefully, it comes out of drought. Hopefully, they get some rain. Colorado's not in drought whatsoever. That is definitely a good thing. Now, for the last thing I have, we will be talking about where I was I've been working a lot on automation and I'm almost there. I really am. I got 98% of it. I should have that fired up probably by this weekend. And once that happens, I should be able to do more reports. It's so tedious and time consuming for me to do all those reports. So they take quite a long time. So basically it will come in. It will get the information for the Bureau of Reclamation and it will put that into an Excel graph. The Excel graph will go over to pot. PowerPoint automatically and place all my arrows, my graphs, and everything will be updated probably within a couple minutes. And that's going to be really good. I'm looking forward to it and I'll have a lot more time now. I have been working on my YouTube stuff, but I just haven't been pumping out the videos like I normally do. So I apologize to anybody that misses the content. Now, this isn't much to talk about just yet. I'm getting ready to launch a website. I will not give out that website information just yet, but 
that I'm going to have graphs. I'm not sure which graph I'm going to keep, but basically I will have graphs in every one. I really like this one, but I don't know. I have, I do, but I don't. I don't like that I can't put a picture behind it. So we will see. And once I get this going, I will be letting everybody know. Now this is a long way from being finished. I'll have my automation done, but then my automation will automatically update this as well. So I've been working pretty hard. You guys have a blessed day and we'll be back soon. You guys take